Good morning. Welcome back to the Almost Daily Vlog here at Life in the Ham House. It is Friday. The weekend is almost here. It is a beautiful, beautiful day. The sky is blue. I'm going to come to the back of the house and I'll give you a shot of the sky. I'm out here with Mr. Rex. Rex is out doing his morning, his morning constitutional. And uh, man, it is beautiful. Let me just look at that. Sun is up. Sky is blue. And there's rumor of some snow possible tomorrow, Saturday. So we're looking forward to that, hoping that it's not just a rumor, but we actually see some new snow. Of course, you can see all the snow we had earlier this week is gone. And the backyard needs some Need some TLC, need some tender loving care, some attention. We'll get to that when the weather warms up. It's a little too cold to really worry about everything. Look at that puppy. He got his hair cut. Looks so good. Out doing dog stuff. Sniffing around, eating grass. I don't know, doing whatever dogs do. It's Friday, the weekend's here, and we are completing our first week of the new year, which, by the way, Happy New Year to you. Some of you are already back in school. Our kids, uh, their, their Christmas break is uh, extended all the way to January the 10th, and so the kids are still around, so we're still celebrating Christmas. It's the 5th of December. <coughs> Excuse me. That's that cough I'm getting over. Um, it's the 5th of December. And uh, we continue to celebrate Christmas until about December the 6th. That wraps up the 12 days of Christmas. That brings in Epiphany. Um, and at that point, we can kind of start moving on from Christmas and on to the rest of the winter. Because the winter is just as much fun. Well, it's not just as much fun. But the winter is still a whole lot of fun. But uh, I'm thinking we made it through the first week of the new year. And we have done our best to vlog just about every day, I think. And uh, hey, that's a great accomplishment already. Where most New Year's goals and resolutions fail, um, hey, we've made it through the week, and that's really good. Um, but here's what I wanted to kind of talk about today, because if you remember the old Almost Daily Vlogs, there's always an opportunity for me to kind of get on and share with you a little thought or two. And uh, I've been thinking about this all week long, and uh, I wrote... I think I wrote a blog for this a little while back, and I went looking for it. I haven't found it yet, but I'm going to find it and repost it. <clears throat> but I know I've preached before um, about New Year's resolutions versus um, goals versus whatever. Um, and I've, I've always and I've shared before, I'm not a huge fan of the resolution. Um, for me, it is a personal promise that I make to myself that I'm going to do anything. And if there's any ever anybody that I'm going to break a promise to, it's going to be me. And so in years past when we did resolutions and I, I would you know sit down and think, what do I want to accomplish for the new year? What do I want to see different? What do I want to do? I would write my resolutions out. And I'll be honest, they, they didn't last very long. Maybe I got through two weeks in January and it just, whatever, it just didn't happen. Um, same with goals. Now... I've done better with goals because goals are something that are measurable. You can establish them and set them up so that you know you're moving forward towards something, and you can set benchmarks and milestones, and you can, uh, you know, quantify you know how you're moving forward with your goals. And I've done that. And I've had some some success with that. Like we made the the, the goal a couple of years ago. You know, we were going to start the habit of reading through the Bible in a year. Now we don't we didn't do it every year. We didn't commit to reading through the Bible every year. But there were years that I commit to reading through the Bible and you know we had benchmarks and goals and a, and a reading plan and we were able to do that. It just so happens this year we're going to do it again. So I'm um, in the process of now reading through the Bible uh, in a year again. And I'm doing it with the, the Version Bible app <coughs> and I'm using a Bible reading plan that Ligonier Ministries put out. I'll, I'll share it in the description below and put it on our website. Um, but that's 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 a goal. So resolutions, goals, wherever you are, that's that's just that's just great. Um, here's one of the things that I thought about all of this, and it really it, it's come out of um, the message this past Sunday at church. Um, the pastor Adam um, was was preaching this week, and we looked at the portion of Luke chapter two uh, after. 
Jesus is born, you know, Mary and Joseph kind of settle into Bethlehem for a little while. They don't stay there long, but they're, they're there. Um, and the time comes for Jesus to be, you know, brought to the temple and the law fulfilled. And in that, uh, they meet two people in the temple, um, or in the synagogue, um, who make these prophecies, prophecies for Jesus of who he is. And what Pastor Adam kind of brought to our attention were a phrasing that appears about six times in those verses. And the phrasing is something along the lines of according to the word, or according to God, or according to the law. Now, it's, it's expressed differently in different times, but essentially it's all saying the same thing. According to the word of God is what, they're, what, what the point of the thing is. <coughs> and so Mary and Joseph bring Jesus to the temple according to the law. Um, they, they fulfill the, the, what's required of them with a newborn first, firstborn son, and that's according to the law. Um, and then, you know, Simeon, uh, the one person they meet, according to your word, Lord. And then even with Anna, you know, it's according to what God has said. And he, drove, he kind of drew this out and brought this to our attention. <clears throat> and he said, what if instead of living a year based on resolutions and goals, what if we live the year according to the word, according to God's word? In other words, that we allow our, our year to be shaped, our lives to be shaped by what we read in Scripture. It's reading Scripture and then living it out. And I thought, that's, yeah, totally makes sense. Let's, let's do that. Um, and he went through these 24 reasons why we need to read our Bibles every day. Because here's the deal. If you're going to live according to the Word, you have to know the Word. And in order to know the Word, you have to read the Word. In order to read the Word, you have to open up your Bible. And so, Pastor Adam said, let me give you 24 reasons why you need to read the Bible, and he said, every day, which is a great habit to have in your life. Anyhow, <clears throat> so 24 reasons to read the Bible. And I'm going to share them with you because the church shared them with us, and that's there for us to share. So I'm going to, I'm going to share it with you guys. I'll put a link to the 24 reasons in the description below. Um, and then he gave some other resources. But I thought, yeah, what a great kind of challenge for us in the year 2024. What would it look like to live our lives, live through this year, uh, according to the Word? Um, and he had like, all these great statistics within his message um, of how, how reading the Bible daily makes an impact or, or changes um, how we live. Um, and I'll, I'll share that stuff with you. In fact, I'm, I'm going to put the whole sermon uh, up for you so you guys can listen to that because I think it was incredible. Um, but all of this is to say, what does it look like for us to live according to the Word? What would it look like for us to commit ourselves to reading the Bible every day and allowing that practice, that habit, to change who we are and how we live? Um, and so that's kind of the... The goal we have this year, like I have not set any resolutions because I don't do resolutions. Um, I have a few personal goals. I have a few career goals, um, but those things are all linked to what I want to see happen in the year. This uh, almost daily vlog is one of those goals. Uh, but outside of that, there's really nothing else I want to accomplish or live by this year um, except by the Word of God. I want to live according to the Word of God. And so to do that, I've got to be in my Bible every day. And, and so far, you know, it's only been five days. That's an easy thing. We've, I've done it five days in a row. Um, but I would like to encourage you uh, to consider that. What would it look like for you to live according to the Word? Uh, forget the resolutions. Forget goals. Just simply say, what would it look like if I commit to reading my Bible every single day uh, or almost every day? And um, how would that affect me and then how could God use me more or how could he use me differently or simply how could he use me if I were to commit to that so I want to encourage you to do that um, as we wrap up the vlog for this week um, join me in reading our Bible every single day um, and I'm gonna do this I'm gonna in the description I'm gonna put a link to uh, our blog because it's the easiest way to do this. I'm going to put a link to our blog. And on our blog, I will have 
the sermon from this past Sunday from Pastor Adam at the Church of 1122. I will have a link to the 24 reasons why you need to read your Bible. Um, and I will put a link to two reading plans. One that uh, the Church of 1122 has given to us. It's a really simple chapter a day through the New Testament. You're not reading the whole Bible, just reading the, test the New Testament. One chapter for five days. And in doing that, you'll read through the entire New Testament in a year. Um, I'll share that with you. And then I'll share with you the link to the YouVersion Bible reading plan that I'm using to read through the Bible in a year. So go to the website, Life in the Hyam House. Uh, dot com and you'll see the link for the blog or just go to the description below click on that link and they'll take you right to the blog um, but I'd be curious to hear from you what maybe resolutions have you set for yourself what goals have you set for yourself uh, maybe you've already kind of committed to reading the Bible every day or reading through the Bible in a year so um, I'd love to hear that uh, share in the comments uh, what your New Year's resolutions might be or your New Year's goals might be um, we're going to continue to reveal some of our stuff um, in the, over the next couple of weeks because I'm still working on a few things we got a few projects in the works um, and I don't want to share any of those things prematurely um, uh, and we got lots of stuff going on in our life right now. And uh, we will be sharing those over the next couple of weeks. So, all of that said, um, thanks so much for watching. As always, we would love for you to subscribe, be a part of Life in the Hyam House. Join us as we do this almost daily vlog. Uh, keep watching for other fun family vlogs. Uh, like we went snowboarding this past week. That was awesome. Um, the kids had a great time. Amy and I sat in the lodge and did a bunch of work. They went and had a great time. We do more things like that. Um, so make sure you're following along. And of course, look us up on social media. Um, go to lifeinthehighhouse.com. You can get us on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. Um, uh, well, it's, guess it's called X now. Um, and if you want, follow me on my social media. I'll leave that in the links. Uh, I'll leave that as links below in the, in the description. And if you want to follow my stuff, come and follow me as well. Um, we've, we've kind of kept this channel to mostly family stuff. But uh, the channel's evolving, so... Come and follow me as well. All right, it's cold out here. Uh, Rex has made his way somewhere into the woods here, so I gotta go find him. And uh, yeah, it's early in the morning. I got lots to do today, so we're gonna get going. By the way, Happy New Year. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, right here, the Almost Daily Vlog on Life in the Hyam House. Later, guys. All right, Rexy Rex, where are you at? Come on, boy. There you go, I see ya. Come on, come on. Good boy. That's what I'm talking about. Good job, bud. Good job.